Hey guys, Buffy Gaming back today, bringing you a video for our Milsim operators, and we're going to be going over all of the Milsim operators that are added here in Season 4 today. So, I linked the video down below for the Milsim Season 3 operators, which I covered in depth at the beginning of the season, and today being just about a week, less than a week into Season 4, we're going to be covering all the Season 4 Milsim operators. So, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First off, we'll go to the Battle Pass, and what we'll do is start from the beginning, I'll work my way through, and then we'll go into more specifics of the operators and look at the outfits for each when we get to them so first off we won't count tier one with captain price as a milsim operator skin even though it is very tactical looking but we're going to start with the cascade operator skin so this is the one unlocked for rodan so if i go ahead and preview this you can see here we're using our ace 32 weapon variant here it was unlocked in season four but you can see here first off it doesn't look like he actually has a plate carrier on or if he does he doesn't look like it has a plate in it but maybe that's just me it looks very similar to just a, a rig, but it, I guess it, he may have a plate in there. It's just not very obvious compared to the other plate carriers in game. But again, you can see he's got a nice digital camouflage. It looks like a black Triton type rig to me if you play Tarkov. But again, I, I think it probably does have a plate in there. He's got the radio there on his left-hand side. Nice looking Russian helmet with the typical Russian face gear. He's got his goggles up mounted there and a uh, little bit of a backpack on, on the back. So this isn't really a crazy skin nothing that stand out ish but again it is a nice to see the russian special forces represented here with one of these milsim skins so this is the cascade for rodan we'll go ahead and back out and if we keep going ahead we'll go to the next one here unlocked at tier 10 and this is the yurgistan ssg1 so we'll go ahead and preview this and again there's different outfits unlocked by using this which we'll go over here in a minute but Again, this one, I believe it's modeled after the real life, maybe either Iraqi or Iranian special forces. Hard to tell uh, since Uristan is a fictional country here in modern warfare. So, again, he's got his plate carrier. He's got a really nice looking beard with this skin. Got the hat. Again, he's got his radio, his comms there on the left hand side and right hand side. He's got a nice pistol holster. I like the fatigues on him as well as the camo. So, the camo looks good. He's got the knee pads boots this is a really nice looking opera skin a really unique one a lot of some of these may look pretty generic or almost copy paste with some of them but i think this is a very unique operator skin for the milsim for yurgistan ssg1 but there's other unique ones unlocked with him which we'll go over here in a minute i'm going to keep going on in the battle pass make sure we don't miss anybody uh so we have this one unlocked the wind river at tier 20 which again definitely not milsim so we'll be skipping that then the next one, this is one of one of my favorites for sure, is the Marine Raider. So this is the first iteration of the outfits that you get. Just like the Yurgistan Milsim skin, there's different outfits on here. Same with the ones in, in Season 3 that we saw. But again, you can see here is a lot of the plate carriers in game here look a lot like the AR-500 Armory plate carriers that he has, especially this one. He's got that little backpack on the back. Got the tape. Uh, you can see the, the comms there. Really nice looking radio uh, or plate carrier overall. I think and again, I think it is modeled in real life after. I was gonna say Tac Tac, but it looks more like a AR five hundred Armory uh, Veritas tactical plate carrier there. And again, just a really nice skin overall. This is your Marine Raider one. He's got the nice tactical helmet. He's got those contacts on. He's got the sunglasses, and again, it looks like on the left-hand side there, I can't tell what's mounted there. It looks like either a light, I would say it's a GoPro, but it definitely doesn't look like a GoPro. So I want to say that's a mount helmet-mounted flashlight on his left-hand side. And then you can see the mounts right there in front, which would be for the NVGs or night vision goggles. But again, you can see the detail in his face with the facial hair, the sunglasses. It's just an overall really cool-looking skin. If we just zoom in and look at the, the plate carrier, you can see just the all the magazines and they just a, a lot of attention to detail with these milsim skins which i really appreciate so you can see here we'll just zoom back out so this is your marine raider one so let's go ahead and back out now and we'll keep going down the battle pass here for season four and again next one here is the azure skin for the counterpoint so i guess this kind of counts as a milsim skin it is uh, really reminiscent of the cod 4 modern warfare and even mw2 skins that we saw in that game and you can see here we just preview it again it looks to be modeled more like after the whether it's iraqi or iranian special forces not quite a milsim skin it's definitely supposed to be your antagonist type milsim skin here and you can see if we just keep going across he's got the ammunition belt slung across he's got his he's got his tactical rig there again this one doesn't appear to be a plate carrier on him he's got the fatigues uh Pretty nice looking skin, and he's got the head gear there as well. So this one's pretty cool. 
Um, I think, again, this is one of your unique, unique ones that you get here in this season. So, again, that's unlocked at tier 40 for a counterpoint. That's the Azure skin, or Azir. Next up is a really cool one at tier 50. This is the Italian Legion skin. So, this is, the again, the first iteration of this. So, this is the Italian Special Forces, as you can see here. He's got the custom color fatigues. He's got the, the Legionary headgear on there, or the hat. It looks like basically a flotation uh, or a life life vest there mounted on across his shoulders he's got the plate carrier and the tactical plate carrier just an overall really nice looking skin again you can see the italian the italian flag there on his left arm and if we just preview around so this is a one of the more unique looking skins i think also for the milsim operators here this season so you can see again the italia so italiana this is the italian legionnaire so we'll go ahead and back out now and we'll keep going down the line here for the battle pass. And again, next up we have one for Alice, which I wouldn't say really is technically a military uh, Milsim skin. Again, it's a nice looking tactical skin, but not quite Milsim. So we'll be skipping that. Keep going down the line. Now we have one here on line to tier 70. This is the Russian FGF-1. So again, this is the first iteration of this. So this is the one I was saying is really similar to Rodan skin or the counterpoint skin that you get with him. So again, this one doesn't appear to have a plate carrier at all there's no what looks it doesn't look like there's armor on him at all for this one but again you have the the russian flag there on the right hand side you can see the digital colored camouflage he's wearing he's got his it looks like ak-74 mags there on the left side as well as mounted on his rig and again you have the helmet with the headgear the goggles that are mounted up there he's got contacts on there again you see the russian flag but again doesn't look like there's a plate plate carrier there it just looks like a, a tactical rig no plate carrier which is odd for russian special forces so this one's really cool um i wish it were a little bit better to be honest i'm not sure what ff fgf means to be honest i looked it up you can see the russian special forces symbol there so there's a lot of different branches of spetsnaz i'm assuming this just kind of falls under there i couldn't find anything that stood for fgf but if you guys found something let me know down below Maybe that's something I just missed, but you can see there. Now we'll go ahead and back out, and we'll keep going down the line. Now this is actually one of my favorites, so I'm going to actually back out. I want to cover that in a minute. First off, we'll go back to the operators. I'm going to show off the different skins for the different operators here. So first off, for the Coalition, we'll look at the outfits for the Marine Raiders. So here we go, Marine Raider 1. Now if I go down, we saw that one already. Now Marine Raider 2 this is the second unlock, so you get this. Just by using him, get three hit fire kills with the Milsim Operator selected for your Coalition Operator. So that's pretty easy to unlock that. And then the third one here, again, really cool. Looks a lot like the Pararescue and the other ones that we saw in Season 3. Get 15 kills while equipped with an EOD perk with the Milsim Operator selected for Coalition. So again, should be pretty easy to unlock these two skins for the Marine Raider. And then next up for the Legionnaire. So we see the, the base Legionnaire skin here. And if we go down to the tier two, so again, this one I think is really cool. Just basically all black. So get 15 kills while equipped with the quick fix perk with a Milsim operator selected for coalition. So that's pretty easy. And then the third one here, again, this one's pretty cool. Very bright though. I wouldn't recommend probably using this in Warzone. You're going to stand out. But I stunned three enemies by using the concussion grenades with the Milsim operator selected. So that's that for the, I think those are the only new ones for the, Allegiance. Now there was, or the Coalition, excuse me. Now there was a new one, so we did have Polish Groom, which was added here. If I go ahead and select him in feature, this was in a bundle that was here in the beginning of the season. And I bought this one in store. I, I can't remember specifically what it's called. Somebody help me out down there in the comments. I uh, will be covering this one in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. It did come with a really nice blooper for the G36. But again, this is the Polish Groom. So in our wish list, and I know we talked about this even back in Season 3, I think a lot of us wanted the Polish Groom operator skin added. So since this was bought in store, there's not different unlock skins for this as far as color schemas or any different aesthetic or changes to the cosmetics of this soldier. But again, this is Polish Groom. You can see very nice looking. Again, it looks like the same AR-500 tac tac tactical plate carrier on there. He's got the gas mask mounted on. He's got his contacts. You can see where the radio comes out of the contacts right into his mouth. I'm not sure if you'd be able to hear with the gas mask on. He's got MVG mounts on there, which look really nice. Uh, no GoPro or light on the helmet for this one that I can see. He's got G25 there on the right-hand side of his helmet. And again, he's got those contacts. The tactical rig looks really nice, too. And then you can see the Polish groom or the Polish symbol there 
on his vest as well as his arm. Uh, really nice looking skin. I like this one a lot. Polish Groom Forces, so I know a lot of us wanted this, so it was really good to see this. And again, this one came with a really nice G36 blueprint, which I'll be covering in the future. So I'll go into more depth with him and the blueprint itself in a future video. But again, this is Polish Groom. Really nice looking. He's got those MVGs. And you can see that cord on, the, on his helmet going from the MVGs of the Night Vision Goggles. You got the tape there with the G25, and that cord goes right to the back of his helmet there where the power supply is for those MVGs. So right there, that cord goes back there. You put batteries in. There's actually backup batteries in there in case primary fails. It'll switch over, or you would switch the cord over to the second plug on the left-hand side there, and it would power your goggles. Either that or it would switch over automatically. I'm not too sure. But again, this is Polish Groom. Really nice-looking operators. Again, this is definitely one of my favorites for this season also. So we'll go ahead and back out, and I believe... Those are the only ones for this season for the Milsim ones as far as the Coalition goes. Besides, there's one more that we'll cover in the battle stream. But if we go to the Allegiance Forces now, so we go ahead and look at the... First off, we'll start with the... We'll start with the Urgestan SSG. So again, this was the first one that we covered. Really nice looking skin. Now the second one, again, the really cool skin here. Get three long shot kills with the Milsim Operator selected for Allegiance. So... These are the all the allegiance. You can see there's only two allegiance so far this season, but there are going to be more added. And then this is the third one unlocked. So we have the get 15 kills while using a battle hardened perk. So that's the third skin for the Urgestan Milsim Operator skin. So I, all in all, I think I want to say the first one is probably my favorite, but the second one's also really really cool too. And then obviously you have the third one here. So I'm a, again, I believe this is modeled probably after Iranian or maybe even Iraqi special forces. Now, the third one, so this, again, is the Russian FGF. So this is the first one that we looked at. Then you see the second iteration. Again, just changes the camouflage of the soldier. And then for the unlocks for this one, I don't have them unlocked, so you can't see it. But it'll be similar to all the other ones. It shouldn't be too difficult to unlock. And then the third one, again, just changing the camouflage for the soldier. I don't see any major cosmetic changes besides the camouflage change for the Russian FGF soldier. So we'll go ahead and back out of there. And I, again, those are all the ones unlocked for the base Milsim for the base operators for the Allegiance. Now, again, here's the one for Rodan that we already reviewed. So we'll just go ahead and select this one really quick. So this is the Cascade. Again, you can see no different operator skins for this one, I don't think. Okay, so there is Swamp Moss and then this third one. So the third one here looks awesome. This is this one's really cool. So unlock at the first one, you gotta get the second. This is gonna be get two kills with a lethal equipment with Rodan selected as your operator, and then the third one here, which I think is probably by far the best of these, is gonna be this third one, the masquerade. So you unlock that. Now that's a really nice looking skin. I like it for some reason. It just stands out. I, th I think it's really nice. Again, the second one's pretty cool too, but very bright. You probably don't want to use that one in. Warzone. So we'll go ahead and back out. Go back to the battle pass here. There's a few more operators to look at that we didn't cover yet. And honestly, one of my favorites, I believe there's two more here. So one of my favorites, hands down, is going to be this one for Rain. So this is the Trooper. Again, this is, looks a lot like his Marine Raider outfit. I believe he's part of Warcom on the Collegiate side for the factions. But this looks like his Raider outfit. So this is his Trooper operator skin. Again, this one is probably, like I said, hands down my favorite operator skin this season thus far so he's got his contacts he's got what looks like the gopro there on the left hand side or some sort of the helmet mounted camera he's got his mvg mounts on the front he's got what looks like the power supply for the mvgs on his helmet I'm not sure what that is on the very top slash back and again he's got that nice tactical rig the ar 500 armory tactical plate carrier he's got the backpack just the detail on this he's got the glow sticks there on, on the back next to his pistol holster He's got a really nice, again, that vest looks really nice. You can see it. This is an adjustment to his typical vest. vest. It drops down a little bit to cover his lower stomach also. He's got his gas grenades there, or smoke grenades. So, again, this is one of the better operator skins in the season. I think this one I'm really looking forward to unlocking the most. I think it's about time we got a really a better-looking skin for Reigns. His base skins that he had in the game, I think, look really, really cool. But, again, this is a really nice one. And I think there's actually some different style uh when you obviously when you unlock when you unlock this and go through it so let me see if i i may not have them so the patriot and then the plan of action so these are the other ones you will unlock once you get that skin so again these are a little bit less bright which are 
really nice looking. I think the second one there is probably one of the better looking ones just from the camouflage color. Not too standout-ish if you're trying to play it in Warzone. But again, really nice skin for Reigns there. You can see those are hands down, hands down the best skin in the game right here for Season 4 in my opinion. And then there's one more skin I believe we have here. If we go back to the Battle Pass, and I believe, I want to say it's Captain Price's last skin there. So we'll keep going forward. We have the, the Rain skin, that which we covered. Then we have one for Urska, which again, not quite Milsim. Um, again, really tactical. It's a nice looking skin, but it's not modeled after any real life uh, special operators. So this that doesn't really quite qualify as Milsim. Go ahead and back out of that. And keep going here. I think the last one here is going to be Captain Price. Yep, so Captain Price, again, unlocked at tier 100. And again, you can see he's got his quad MVG mount, mounted there on top of the helmet. He's got the power supply in the back. Again, he's got Comtax. It looks, I not. it's some sort of AR uh, 500 armory, tactical plate carry. It doesn't quite look like a tech tech either. He's got the Union Jack flag there on the left-hand side of his arm, as well as the plate carrier. And he's got the strobes there mounted, you can see. And again, just the standard-looking Captain Price skin that we see from single player. So this is a really nice to see. I think, again, this is one of the cooler ones, too. This is a good reward for Tier 100. And I'm sure they'll actually be get, bringing in some of his classic Modern Warfare or COD 4 Modern Warfare 2 skins in the future. Just like they did with Ghost down the line as well. But again, this is a really cool-looking skin for Captain Price. And if we go ahead and back out, I want to say those are all the skins... But again, there's going to be different iterations or color schemes of that. So let me really quick, we'll go and take a look at the Coalition. We'll go over to Captain Price here for the SAS. And here we go, the Captain. And then you can unlock these two different ones for his base skin. And then the final skin that went over at Tier 100, again, you can see here, is the Phantom. So again, that just changes the cosmetics or the color schema of his camouflage and plate carrier. And then Dead of Night, which... Again, really cool looking skin. A little bit different from the base one that comes with a tier 100, just all black. Uh, probably the one he used in the townhouse mission there, and Wolf Den as well in single player. But again, those are the final operator skins for the Milsim operators for season four, at least at launch. Um, there's definitely going to be more Milsim operator skins to come. One of them, there's going to be a Russian FSB bundle, which comes with the security forces for. The Russian FSB or Specialized Group. And again, that guy has an alt on it. It's going to come with a really nice AK blueprint as well. But let me know down below what your favorite Milsim Operator skins are here in Season 4. What kind of ones you want to see added in the future. It would be really cool if we get maybe a different pol different looking Polish groom without the gas mask. Again, I like that skin a lot. I think it's one of the better looking ones. But overall, I think I'm really happy with the Milsim skins that are in game. It's really nice to get Polish groom and some of these other ones. Looking forward to the FSB bundle for the Russian security forces there's a couple other ones that are coming here that you can check out on cod tracker that'll be coming here in season four so i'm looking forward for those ones i believe we have the russian fsb and then there's a few other ones i can't remember off the top of my head how many more but again that's only the first part of season one there's definitely going to be more here since season or season four is going to be lasting quite a while but let me know down below what your favorite milsim operator skin is here in season four what kind of milsim operator skins you're looking forward to in the future and again we have gaz coming down the road as well as the other operator rose i believe was her name so those should be nice looking tactical bundles at least with gaz for sure but again let me know down below what your favorite is what you want to see and until next time these are the milson operator skins for season four buffner gaming